What do you do for fun? What are your hobbies? If you had like a day off. Go to the gym, go play some golf. Probably just go get a coffee, go for a run, and uh, do some sunbathing, like you said. Okay, but is that it? Like, do you have a dog? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, what kind of, what kind of dog is it? Uh, he's a Frenchie. He's a Frenchie, oh, oh. It's more like a, a cat that Ooh. the dog pass over it a little oh, bit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Boring. This baby thinks he's boring. Oh. Oh. Kate, point to the guy you are more attracted to in five, four, three, two, one. Oh. There we go. And Nick, do you have any final words? I'm uh, happy she chose James. Uh, well, well, Nick, Nick, I have some good news for you. There's a girl in the crowd. Yeah! Natalie, what is your pitch to Nick in three, two, one? We can both go to the gym at the same time and have a good time. <gasps> oh. Cardio at the gym and out of the gym. Oh. <laughs> I like how quickly her face changed when the other chick jumped on stage and started getting off with Nick. That's a W for him right there. And let's not forget who this woman is. I can't say her name. Amaroth, Amaranth. I don't know how you flipping say her name. Basically, she's a Twitch streamer. She's an OF model, of course. And she's making millions a month. It, it's, it's wild, man. And her chat is full of simps. Her life is full of simps. So, you think all that's gone to her head, the money, the simping, everything. She can pick any guy she wants, well at least she thinks. And Nick was like, nah, I'm glad she picked the other dude and he went home with a winner. Remember guys, if you don't fit some women's preferences, they'll label you as boring, just like Nick was. I got rejected for the first time in my life. You guys know how I was looking for a man to spoil? Rotten. I found one. And guess what happened? Guess what I did, first of all. I think I told you guys. This woman doesn't exist. This is a fairy tale. I'm right here. And I gave him my side of the bed. So whenever he woke up in the morning, he had the better view. I gave him hours of massages. I bought a rain machine for my apartment so he could sleep better. I was always on top. Not once did he do it for mine. I always tried to pick up the bill. I washed his back, literally. I put moisturizer on his face. I always big spooned. I bought him headphones when his over ears were broken. I was trying to order him ice cream because his blood sugar got low and I was asking him what flavor he wanted. He said, how will you stop waiting on me hand and foot? All of that. <laughs> Just for him to say he doesn't think we're compatible. Everything sounds great on paper, doesn't it? But I did a bit of investigation right here and it ain't all what it's cracked up to be. She's got like 600k followers on TikTok. So I just typed in her username on Google and put OF at the end and what a surprise this pops up. What a surprise. That was the part she left out of that video. That she's an OF model. Most guys don't want to deal with that. She belongs to the streets. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everyone in the comments is talking about the chick in the video, simp and whatever. Did someone just take a dump in that bowl? Because that is a fresh one curled up in there, man. There's, there ain't no way I'm eating that. So we got a new house, right? And this whole time she's talking about doing new stuff with the house, doing new things in the house, right? Talking about backsplashes, backsplashes all afternoon. And now we're in Home Depot looking at tile that you put in your kitchen. And I don't, that, I don't understand. Oh, you're disgusting. That's backsplash for the kitchen, Andrew. Well, that's not fun. That's not... What do you mean by that? I saw this online, guys, and I, I had to show you this. I had to. Just buckle up for this one. You ready? When you're extremely beautiful as I am, you can cheat on and leave as many men as you want to. There is no benefit in being a good woman. 
drain men of their finances and leave for a new man with a bag. I said what the hell I said. If I said this, can you imagine if I said this on my channel? That I would be shut down overnight. And I see this all the time. Pete, you guys send me things like this all the time. And these people have a big following online. There seems to be no repercussions. I mean, these women are dangerous. These, they really are. She belongs to the streets. How can only men enforce the rights? Ah, well, I'm glad that you asked. You have rights, right? Yes, I do. Okay, what is a right? A, a right is something that basically we've defined out through uh, a bill of rights or a constitution. Something the government that's can't. A, something the government a, can't do to yeah, you. It's an entitlement right. absent a duty. Right. Huh. Is that a right? Well, what do you mean by absent a duty? There's like, no duty with your rights. We're given. We we have God given inherent rights in America. Okay. Right? And that's where we enshrine <laughs> our rights from is the rights that God gave us. So so God gave you the right to own a gun. He gave us the right to self-defense. Did he give you a right to own a gun? He gave us the right to self-defense. Yeah, I know, but and that's not my question. Why do you I keep on not answering my question? Did he give you a right to own a gun? Yes. Or is that, okay, he did. So that was not your right to own a gun is not something which can be taken away Here's from you. Here's the other you. thing. You say only men can be enforcers of law. Yeah. There are, women can rights. actually no, have a say gun. Laws. I said And they rights. can enforce rights. Mm -hmm. They can protect rights with guns okay. as well because guns are equalizers. So but let me explain this the best way. Let me explain this the best way I possibly can. They give so children that you guns in some countries yeah, yeah. Let me explain this the best wars. way that I possibly okay, can. So women can also yeah, no, you're just have prattling. guns. You're just prattling. It's not prattling. I thought you wanted the explanation. Do you want me to give it to you or not? So guns, you, rights, or women's I'll rights? I'll give you. I'll give you the explanation instead of your incessant prattle. So it's here's the right. actual. Here's the actual explanation. Men are the enforcers of rights. Rights don't exist. They don't exist. You can't taste them. You can't touch them. You can't see them. They're a social construction. No, men did not create the <laughs> rights. God did. Okay, they. He did. What yes. What rights did God give you? God gave me the right to, to exist. He gave me free will. You, know, you have a right to exist. Yeah. Oh, really? So you couldn't just wink out of existence tomorrow? God created me. What an idiot! If you've never had your patience tested, then you definitely did in the last minute or so. It just seems like to me the lights are on but no one's home. It is honestly like they speak two different languages during this. I know some of you want me to go on the whatever podcast, but I don't know if I can deal with this, man. And for those of you asking who the guy is, it's Andrew Wilson. That guy is a legend. He's definitely too smart for these donuts, man. Yeah, when your credit good, you call Dodge and you tell them to deliver your vehicle. Got my husband a new 2023 Scat Pack, Bumblebee Edition. Exquisite shit. Exclusive. Exclusive. Yeah. He's gonna love it. Hey, yeah, give it a red for me. This is my Dodge agent. He's been amazing with my purchase process. I contacted him this morning and he delivered the car the same day. Yeah. When you credit right, do what you want. Me. That's what I'm talking about! Tres en la sum sumisión a tu hombre. Sí, todavía. Las chicas americanas creen que es esclav esclava. Esclavitud. Es sí, no. atender a tu hombre. No. Sí? No, no, no. no. De hecho, se hace con mucho amor. Wow, man, you already hear me. This is the machine will cook. Queen and BC Miss, man. Sí? <laughs> oh, yes. Sí? <laughs> Isn't it crazy in 2024, if you say you want a woman who's going to look after the house and take care of dinner and bloody bloody blah, blah, but you're going to pay all the bills, you're going to get her nice things, do the absolute most for her financially, protect her physically, you know, you can say that, but you're labelled all the things. You get all the labels in the West, but if you go abroad and say that, you're considered a good man. The problem is a lot of these modern women, they want the perks of a relationship and they want to rinse a man dry of his money and all the other things that come with it. But they don't want no boundaries in that relationship. They want to go out and do whatever they want. They want to act single. Women have a different giftedness that is completely different men. I never said smarter. In fact, a woman's intuition is far better than my intuition. I trust my, my wife's gut when it comes to people, when it comes to relationships. And she leans on me for you know investments or politics. We are given different gifting. Now, with that being said, some women have a gifting in that direction. Those are the exception, though. 
there is a general rule, and the general rule is that women are far more gifted at people and caretaking and the intimate. I don't mean that demeaning or derogatory. I never use the word smarter or dumber. I that you might, be, you might be inferred. Oh, thank you, Molly. Yeah. I actually very much agree with what you're saying. It's the man's role to be, um, you know, kind of like the... I mean, if you're talking like the nuclear family, you know, it's like the man's role to kind of be the governing force of the family, take care of everything on the outside, take care of, uh, you know, the, the finances, the stocks, mm -hmm. all of that, and to kind of be the, the rock for all of the um, little things that the woman has to go through during the day. Um, just all the little conversations, all the things that she has to deal with that you're not there. And I think that... Um, you know, it's a really beautiful thing, like yin and yang, you know, like there's, it is there's beautiful. parts of men that complement women and there's parts of women that complement men. And the best thing is, is there's things that women can do that men cannot. And there's things that men mm. can do that women cannot. And I think that the issue is we try and figure out like who's better, what, who's more powerful, who can, you know, who gets to say uh, what happens. And I think that the issue, that's really dividing and the beauty comes when you kind of bring those skills mm. together. I, I that's wonderfully said, Mal. Well, the amount of waffle I've heard on the whatever podcast from those chicks, man, this has to be up there as, as she said a great thing. She said a great thing and she's completely right. What they're trying to do is divide the family unit and they are successful at doing that as we've seen today. But to find women who agree with that statement it is hard to find, unfortunately. You know, these women want to run right in relationships and do what they want. It really is hard to find a level-headed woman these days, especially in the West. And a lot of these young men society are raising are just a bunch of wet wipes, man.